Hello, it is I. Now, if you're a loyal subscriber of my channel, you're an absolute legend, and you may remember this video I made of how different countries modify their cars. Well, I said in that video, if you got 4,000 likes, then I make a part 4 to the series. So, being a man of my word, here is part 4 of how different countries modify their cars. Now, if you want to see a part 5 to the series, then guess what? I'm going to raise the stakes. 5,000 likes. Yep, 5,000 likes, and I'll make a part 5 to this series. So, comment down below where you're from, and I'll make sure to include that in the next video. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. People view New Zealand as a BTEC Australia that's full of mountains. But in reality, yeah, it's pretty much that. So, to modify your car like you're a New Zealander, first of all, you need to get yourself a JDM car. Because Asia and Australasia are big importers of these cars. So, with this example, I'll be choosing this Mark III Toyota Supra. Very nice. Now, go to the body kits and have a good look at what you can get. Then, decide that you want to keep the stock body. So, swap out the wheels for something aftermarket like these. Now, max out the wheels all the way. Bring them out as much as possible lower the car and finally, change out the exhaust for something a little bit louder. Yeah, I reckon that will do. Put a Kiwi sticker on the back of the car and a Mighty Car Mod sticker even though you're not Australian and you are done. That is how to modify your car like you're from New Zealand. Colombia is a country found in South America. It's very famous for people like Radamel Falcao, Sofia Vergara, Juan Pablo Montoya, as well as another very famous Pablo who I should probably not mention otherwise I'll get demonetized. So to modify your car like you're from Colombia, get yourself a car with a lot of storage. I reckon this Unimog would do just fine. Now as you can see here, the storage area is very open, meaning everybody can see what you're transporting. We don't want that, you understand? So cover it up in something like this and voila, problem solved. Now we don't want people seeing who's driving the car so let's tint the windows as dark as possible and of course in this business you gotta cover up the identity of your vehicles so from now on this vehicle identifies as a toyota gtr nurburgring edition yeah this is totally legit now you need to make sure you're not obvious or bait when commuting around colombia so to make sure that the police don't pull you over write definitely not a dealer on either side of the car and then write flower transportation on the cover and you should be done yep that my friends is how you modify your car like you're colombian very discreet. Now, Americans have many different ways of modifying their cars. As posers usually slam their JDMs on boxes to the ground, influencers wide body their supercars and put it on bags and HRE wheels, and people who lack a fully functioning brain usually buy a pickup truck of some sort. Something like this old Ford F-150 would be very fitting for this build. Then they swap out the original wheels for some humongous chrome deep dish rims. What on earth is that? Tend out the exhaust for the loudest thing you can find, because according to Americans, the louder your car, the better it sounds. Which is just no. No, no, okay, that's not how cars work. And then they modify the suspension by raising the front and dropping the rear. Yep, so it looks like this. Yeah, I don't know why people do this either. Now, Norway is home to the electric car. Everybody and their mum drives a Tesla over there. So you may think that this country doesn't have much of a car culture. Well, you'll be very wrong. Because to modify a car like you're Norwegian, pick up a brand new car with a soft limiter like this Mark V2 to Supra. Very nice. And now you can swap a bad boy 2JZ into it, max it out all the way, come on, we need to get 1000 brake horsepower minimum. Then install a wide body kit onto it. Jesus, look how thick she is. Now install the biggest wing you can find, put in a roll cage, give her a fresh new set of wheels and finally you can apply a drift team livery and you are complete now that is the true norsk way of modifying a car even though 99 percent of norwegians drive evs i mean that's not a statistic but you know like it's exaggeration if you know what i mean like don't take everything seriously you get me now, Qatar is full of supercars, hypercars, and all sorts of crazy cars. But most Qataris are subtle with their cars, they don't drive anything too flashy. So, to modify your car like you're one of these people, get yourself some sort of Asian SUV. Toyotas are a fan favorite over in the Middle East, so I guess we'll just go with this Forerunner. Okay, after you've got your car, lower it all the way. Now, I know you're wondering who lowers an SUV, that's so impractical. But let's be honest, when do SUV owners take their cars off road? Come on, guys. Anyways, let's make the car even more impractical by installing these incredibly large chrome wheels and just like that you're done you're basically katari now congratulations your bank account will now see 10 billion dollars <laughs> 
mana do ya? Sorry about that, that was so terrible, I'm so sorry. Anyways, Ireland is exactly like England. Except people have funnier accents, they're still in the EU, and their towns look like they're stuck in the 19th century. So to modify your car like you are Irish, get yourself an ordinary car like this Mark IV Volkswagen Golf. Yes, I know this is an R32, but just imagine it's a 1.9 diesel or something, I don't know. Anyways, now you can install these wheels, put on the biggest body kit you can find, slam the car all the way to the ground until you have zero ground clearance, then install the exhaust is as loud as can be. And now it's time to paint the car. Should we go for a red, maybe a yellow, perhaps a pink if we're brave enough? Nah, let's just go with black. And I guess you are done. That, ladies and gentlemen, I, I mean gentlemen, there's only like 5% of emails watching this video, is how you modify your car like you're from Ireland. Latvia is a country that thrives off tourism, as places like Riga are very well known for its old school architecture, wooden buildings, museums, the town hall, it's a very cultural beautiful nation. So to fit into a country like Latvia, get yourself a German car from the 90s, perhaps an E30 M3. Anyways, after you've got your beautiful classic BMW, swap out the engine for a b -b -b bad boy LS, supercharge it, then max out the engine all the way until it produces stupid power, stupid power, that is crazy power, what the hell. Then install drift suspension, these three piece wheels, drift tyres, and finally, paint the whole car orange. And it's as easy as that. That, my friends, is how you modify a car like your Latvian. Welcome to Riga. Now, let's say you made your way to Iraq in your BMW Z3. I know this is an MQB, but it's just it's a racer to me, okay, shut up. Anyways, to get over the rough terrain in Iraq and the whole of the Middle East, install some thick off roading tyres. Then wrap this car in this German camo design because you're trying to stay undercover. Now put some shovels on the bonnet, a jerry can on either side of the car, and I guess you are done. And just like that, you're basically James May. Very nice. Monaco is full of the richest billionaires, with the biggest yachts and the craziest cars. So to stand out in a nation like this, you're gonna have to need something very special. Because a supercar over there is like the equivalent of a Mercedes in the UK. So to be a part of the modern gas car scene, get yourself a super rare car like this Mercedes AMG 1. Now the key to stand out in Monaco is to have a unique car, because owning a rare car is just not good enough. So let's modify this car by painting it solar beam yellow, because tell me one other brother that has a yellow AMG 1. Exactly you're done though. Right, now it's time to replace the rims because you'd never expect to see a hypercar with aftermarket wheels. And now to give it a name. I shall call this the AMG 1 of 1. Yeah. And after that, you should be done. You can now roll around Monaco in your 1 of 1 AMG 1 of 1 of yeah am one am one of hey this car's confusing you know oh hello there did you enjoy this video if you did then you might enjoy this video up here 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 this is confusing. So give that a watch if you're interested. If you're not interested, then that's a little bit sad. But there's a button below here where you can subscribe to my channel. I don't know why you're supposed to subscribe to my channel if, you, if you're not interested in my videos. I started so much there. That was so cringe. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one, guys. Cheers.